हे गाय सम जस्ट यूजिंग माई बुशवा हेल्थी मिक्स फ्रूट फाउंडेशन इन द शेड नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव विच इज़ कॉल्ड डार्क बेश एंड आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग अ फाउंडेशन ब्रश टू अप्लाई दर ऑल ओवर माई स्किन आई एम मेकिंग श्योर दर आई यूज द ब्रश टू अप्लाई द फाउंडेशन ऑन माई ईयर्स एंड बिहाइंड माई ईयर्स एज वेल एज ऑल द वे डाउन टू माई नेक एम जस्ट मेकिंग श्योर आई रियली कवर ऑल द रेड पोर्शन ऑफ माई फेस It's really important to make sure you apply foundation, you know, behind the ears and on the ears, because sometimes the redness of the ear can really give away the fact that you have foundation on. Uh, this is a medium coverage foundation, and it's really light and really breathable, so it's good for every day. And uh, I know it's a little light for my skin, so I'm going to be using a bronzer to warm up the skin tone a little later. Now I'm just going to go in with my damp beauty blender and pat all the product in. This really helps to make the foundation look as natural, you know, as though you had natural skin and nothing on. And it uh, just also helps to seal the product into your skin. Now using Mac Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Uh, this just helps to prime the eyelids for when you're doing any eye shadow work, so that the eye shadow lasts for a really long time. I'm also going to be putting some of this on the bottom of my eyelid, as you can see. Now I'm using shade number 10 by Sivana Colors. It's a really pale gold eye shadow. Um just patting that on from the inner corner of my eyelid to the center. And uh, I'm going to be blending my eye shadow a lot throughout this video. So please bear with me. Blending is generally a crucial part of makeup because you know it really can make or break the look that you're trying to get. Uh it really helps your finish look more refined or more professional. If that's the word for it. And so keep on blending till you have no harsh lines in your makeup. That's the best way to go about it. Now I'm using shade number 11 by Sivana Colors, which is it's just this coppery uh, <clears throat> brown shade, and I'm just applying that from the center of my eyelid to the outer V. Using the patting motion of the brush helps to really. you know deposit a lot of product and give you really intense uh, pigment and color whereas when you swipe the brush across your eyelid it kind of gives you more of a sheer finish now i'm just blending my uh, crease with Uh, using a uh, a blending brush and just making sure all the colors are really merged together. Now I'm taking this uh, color 849 by In Color. It's a beautiful purple, and I'm just using a, a pencil brush to you know add that to the outer V of my eyelid. It's okay if you don't get this perfectly because you're going to be blending your eye shadow a lot, and you can always clean up the outer V and make it look sharper by just using a little foundation and you know uh, cleaning up the outer area. I'm just going back in with shade number 11 by Savanna Colors because I felt like I lost a bit of that coppery brown and I'm just going to blend all of that in together with the purple. Now I'm just using this earth tone palette by Savanna Colors O2. and i'm taking the uh, shade number 3 which is this really pale brown and i'm just applying that all over my crease uh, and uh, that's just going to help to soften some of the harsh lines and blending that all over again now i'm taking this gray shade by vov and just kind of uh, smudging that on my bottom lid blending my eye shadow once again blending is really important to me it really helps get an amazing finish especially when you do eye shadow now i'm just using my revlon uh, color stay waterproof uh, eyeliner in black is black and just adding that to the upper waterline 
This really helps to give the illusion of thicker eyelashes and really bring out the color of your eyes. Now using shade 1 from the same Savannah Colors palette and just going, uh, you know, applying that on the uh, arch of my brows. This is going to help brighten up the look and also help kind of give you the illusion of slightly lifted eyebrows. Now using my Maybelline Hypercool Volume Mascara, this is one of my favorite mascaras and just applying that on my uh, upper lashes as well as lower lashes. I generally prefer not to curl my eyelashes because they are already pretty long and then they end up touching like my brows or something. Just kidding. But yeah, I just prefer not curling them. Now I'm just using this flesh colored pencil by Oriflame and it's not white. I know sometimes people think flesh colored white or something like that but it's really a flesh colored pencil and that's just going to help kind of give you more of an open eye you know eyes look a little bigger and a little brighter now i'm just blending all of that in once again i'm going to be blending a lot i wasn't like joking when i said that earlier now just using some of this transparent uh, brow gel or mascara and uh, applying that on the brows to bring out the color and just groom the brows a bit. And using this uh, eyebrow kit by VOV, it's really amazing. It has a dark brown, a, a top shade and a black shade. And just running that through my eyebrows. I always like starting from the outer corners of my eyebrows because generally eyebrows tend to be a little thicker towards the ends and kind of you know a little sparse at the beginning. And when you're doing your eyebrows, it's important to keep that in mind so your eyebrows don't look too fake. And just sealing all of that color in with the transparent uh, brow gel. Now going in with the NYX uh, Confessions of a Tannaholic bronzer and just applying that on my cheekbones. And also gonna be, you know, going using that on the temples of my head and on the upper portions of my head and all the way down to my neck as well just to warm up the tone of my foundation a bit. Now taking shade number 6 of Savannah Colors. Uh, the reason I did this is because I felt the earlier highlighter shade was a little too white and this was a little on the yellow side and I really like that. Now I'm just using this uh, blush by uh, Essence. I think if I'm not wrong it's the shade Natural and I'm just using this highlighter shade by uh, Savannah Colors. It's a shimmer brick by Savannah Colors. Really great one. And now just going over with a, a nude lip pencil. I'm just applying that very roughly over my lips. This is gonna help, you know, if I'm putting something over my lips, this is gonna help seal that color. And so even if the lipstick or the uh, gloss that I use fades, the color still remains. I'm just using now the matte uh, lip cream by Miss Claire. These are really amazing. Uh, this is in the shade 14. And then I'm also gonna be going in with shade number two to kind of, you know, have this ombre effect I'm gonna just apply that on the center portions of my lips as you can see this is shade number two and just roughly blending that in with my fingers and just kind of redefining that line with the pencil again we're almost done I'm just going in with this plum lip pencil I just love the combination of these three colors and uh, just gonna blend that with my finger so this is the final look i hope you guys liked and enjoyed this tutorial and if you all did please like and subscribe thank you